أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا من منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Tomorrow is a special day in Canada. It is the federal elections. Uh, where we will elect uh, the political leaders uh, of this country, those who would take their place in the government of Canada to govern over us for the next four years. And I wanted to share the Islamic perspective on uh, this event tomorrow, the federal elections here in Canada. What does God Almighty says in the Quran? And most importantly, what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says in the Hadith or in the sacred tradition? And what is the example that he left behind? God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reveals in the Qur'an, وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ God Almighty tells us of our civic duty, our responsibility to ensure that goodness spreads in society. Let there, let there arise from among you a group of believers who would call to goodness, who would enjoin righteous conduct, and who would forbid wrong actions. And so this verse in Surah Ali Imran, in the third chapter of the Quran, establishes three, the three important pillars of the Muslim Ummah, or the Muslim nation. Ad-da'watu ila al-khayr, al-amru bil-ma'roof, al-nahyu an al-munkar. And then the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mentions in a beautiful prophetic statement من رأى منكم منكرا فليغيره بيده فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أضعف الإيمان establishing the important principles of our civic duty in society and towards people in society that uh, it is our responsibility our duty to God Almighty first and foremost that we call people to goodness call people to good actions to good behavior and to enjoy righteous conduct and to forbid wrong and so the example in the principles established by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is that we must participate in the processes in society that would help to make our society a better place for all of us to live in. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you to go out tomorrow and vote. This is a way for you to make your voices be heard. 
uh, so, uh, to express your opinions, whatever you have, so that you can uh, participate in electing those who will take over the reins or who will hold the reins of government in this country. This country is a beautiful country. This country is a place that uh, people enjoy their life here in Canada, uh, living in peace and in harmony. And we pray to God Almighty that that will continue, that Canadians, no matter their ethnic origin, no matter their religion, uh, their backgrounds, their differences, we can all live together. And this is my prayer today for for this country, Canada, and for all Canadians, that uh, we can live in peace and harmony, and then we can also be an example for people in other countries to follow so that they can also live in peace and harmony. This is the concern uh, for the human condition established by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that we must be concerned for everyone and contribute in whatever way we can towards achieve, achieving peace and harmony among people, and so that we can observe our duties to God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember your Islamic obligation tomorrow to go out and vote and encourage your family members, your relatives, your friends, your neighbors and others to go out and vote. We are not telling you who you should vote for. That is your decision to make. But we want to encourage you to participate in this process. Go out and vote so that uh, we can uh, contribute towards the well-being of this country and everyone in society. We are in the month, Islamic month of Safar. This is the second month of the year. Uh, we talked about the virtues of Muharram last month, the first month of the Islamic year, and we talked much about Safar. And we said that Safar, the month of Safar, of Safar is a bridge uh, to Rabi'ah, because this is the third month, the next month that's coming soon upon us, uh, today being the 21st of Safar. And so uh, we have an important role to prepare for, and that is to welcome the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And so Allah subhanahu wa taala reveals in the Quran uh, one specific aspect of the spiritual status or maqam of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this concept of suffer being a bridge to Rabi'ah and Rabi'ah being a bridge to the Mawlid and Mawlid being a bridge to the divine mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's almost like uh, steps of a ladder that you ascend to achieve what you want to achieve, what you desire to achieve in your life. And so it's a time now in this month of suffer to prepare, to welcome the month of Rabi' al-Awwal and to welcome the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because Rabi al-Awwal is the time of the commemoration of the coming of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was born on the twelfth of Rabi al-Awwal uh, in the year of the elephant, uh, just over fourteen centuries ago in the holy city of Mecca, near to the Kaaba, the first house that was established for the worship of God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa taala, on this earth. So today. I want to launch a special project. I call this the Salawat project. Salawat meaning to invoke blessings on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. To recite a specific formula to make du'a, supplication to God Almighty to bless the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The following words: Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. To recite this as much as you can. For those of you who are reciting the weird alam, the daily dhikr, this is part of the. Alam Dhikr. It's on our website and our social media pages, the special salawat. And so I would like you to recite this after each salah. Start with a number that you can sustain and, and increase that number every day. So if uh, ultimately, if you can recite a hundred times the salawat after each salah, the five daily salah, then it means you're reciting it 500 times every day. And this project starts now in this month of Safar, continue in the month of Rabi'il Awwal, and then in the month of 
Rabia Thani. Three months, a specific period of time for this beautiful project of Salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it has great benefits and great blessings, uh, among which Miftahul Khayr Kullahu as salatu was salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. The key to all goodness in this world, in this dunya, and in the hereafter, the Akhirah, is to invoke blessings on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu bless you to participate in this special project of Salawat upon the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be, be upon him. Ameen. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. Was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, It was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I'm Kamal Kara once again, a member of parliament for a great riding of Brampton West. And what an honor uh, to be here at the Islamic Forum of uh, Canada. Uh, the work that this mosque does uh, for the Muslim community abroad uh, right here in Brampton is tremendous to the success that we see. Uh, not just, I wouldn't just say the Muslim community, but our, our community as a whole as well. So I just want to say thank you for all the work that you have been doing. Uh, and I'm extremely proud to represent so many uh, members of the mosque uh, in my riding, of course, uh, you know, like, like brother. Uh, Azam, who's been a key member uh, of our team and has been doing incredible work. So thank you very much, and I look forward to continue to collaborate with you and talk to you to see how we can continue to work together. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Remember the Salawat project for you to, as much as possible, recite Salawat on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to recite the words, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. This is uh, on our web website, uh, the sheikhfaisal.com or islamaforum.com.ca website and all the social media pages. You can get uh, a copy of this Salawat there to download, uh, to memorize and to recite as often. I want to encourage you, uh, whenever you have the time, to sit down in your home zawiyah. That is a designated place in your home where you do dhikr and you, you perform your salah and so on and recite the salawat on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as part of this salawat project. You can go to the Sheikh Faisal website, sheikhfaisal.com forward slash salawat. There's a special page for you to register for this salawat project and make your pledges. How many salawat you want to recite? 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, whatever you want. We've had uh, brothers and sisters here in Canada and in many other countries throughout the world pledging more than a hundred thousand salawat in this three month period of time to recite for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every time you recite it, you get great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, I also want to share with you this special uh, fundraising appeal, an opportunity for you to gain blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a new masjid project to sponsor one block today of a hundred dollars and then to join the monthly pledge to do need $100 every month to the Islam form. You can go to the website, use your credit card to join the monthly pledge and your donation today, or you can uh, contact us, call us, or send an email, and one of the volunteers will facilitate your donation, inshallah. Remember, the Prophet says, Ma naqasa malin bi sadaqa. Your wealth will never decrease because you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will only increase for you, inshallah. I want to thank those who contributed to the recent programs we had. Uh, we had a special and all night dhikr last Saturday at the Islamic Forum. I want to thank uh, Sayyid Muzamil and all the youth who organized a special program for youth, the Qiyamul Layl program at the Islamic Forum. We had a special Thanksgiving Maulid. Also, uh, Brother Fazl Khan uh, celebrated his birthday. We did that uh, at, at the Islamic Forum. We congratulate him on his birthday. If you have the need to organize any Akika program, Nikah program, birthday program, Janazah, New Home Open, Opening, you can contact us to do that at the Islamic Forum, inshallah. There's some special upcoming programs. The Maulid Rasul, a special program uh, on the occasion of Maulid Rasul, Sunday, November the 17th, inshallah, starting at 4.30 p.m. at Islamic Forum. You you can contact the Islamic Forum to get your tickets today. Please promote this program to your relatives and friends and others you know, and we need some sponsors to take care of the expenses of the program, inshallah. This is a special Maulid Maulid Rasul program. We have our Umrah trip in December. Uh, if you'd like to go for Umrah, contact Islamic Forum, inshallah. And then uh, Hajj uh, for next year, we, we've started the registration. If you, you're you going for Hajj or you would like to go for Hajj or you know someone who's going for Hajj, contact Islamic Forum to register. The special ongoing programs continue at Islamic Forum, Friday Juma starting at 1 p.m. every Friday, inshallah. And then Friday evening, 7 p.m., we have a special adult Quranic Arabic class to teach you to read Quran uh, and understand the Arabic of the Quran, inshallah. Then the Saturday Islamic school, Saturday at 10.30 uh, a.m., register your children. The Saturday morning evening, 6 p.m. on Saturdays, inshallah. This TV program every Sunday morning, please tell everyone you know to look at the TV program. Pray Salat al-Fajr, and at 6 a.m. then you can prepare to look at the program at 6.30, inshallah, uh, and tell your relatives and friends to do so, inshallah. And then Thursday, youth halakha every Thursday, 7 p.m. for both males and females, youth, uh, young adult for tasawwuf training at Islamic Forum. These are some of the wonderful programs we like you to be part of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumu'ah, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. 
وعلمت أني حين تشقيني الدنا لا أرتدي في كربتي It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Last week we announced the award that was given to the ambassadors of this Message of Mercy program, uh, and so far we've uh, we've given this award to those who have been active in promoting and supporting the program. Uh, Sidi Hussein. Uh, Sidi Fazl, Sidi Nafima, Sidi Azam, Sidi Hafiz, Sidi Ramzan, uh, among those who received the award so far. Today, we want to add two more names to that list of ambassadors of the Message of Mercy program, uh, those who have been supporting and promoting the program. Sidi Naim Hanif and his wife, Sidi Ovina, we want to appoint them and give them a special award of uh, ambassador of the Message of Mercy program. May Allah SWT bless them for their hard work to to support and promote this program and we hope you can uh, continue to do this promote this program to all your family members relatives friends everyone you know so that they can look at the program inshallah and we hope you can support this program financially as well this salawat project that we have launched uh, a great idea uh, for you to implement in your life a great way for you to gain much blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran in, in Surah Al Ahzab, in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, ya ayyuhaladina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima, chapter 33, verse 56 of the Holy Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to recite salawat on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And so, as a result of you reciting salawat, you obtain the rewards for obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He's commanding us in this verse in the Quran and to recite salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when you engage in salawat, you are in agreement with what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala does in sending salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, in Allah, you salluna ala nabi. God Almighty sends salawat on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is an amazing opportunity for you to gain great blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Remember the key to all goodness in the dunya and in the akhirah, in this world and hereafter is to invoke blessings on the Prophet The special salawat, salawat project that you should participate in. May Allah subhanahu wa bless you.
مرحبا يا طير داع مرحبا يا طير داع يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب الله سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Remember this special salawat project for you to recite salawat after each fard salah every day from in this month of Safar and the next month of Rabi al Awal, Rabi al Thani, inshallah, so that uh, you can join the salawat project. You can register on the website, alhamdulillah, so you can share in the blessings of everyone that are reciting the salawat. We want to thank all those who've donated to the Islamic Forum recently, and we hope you can make a generous donation today to the Islamic Forum. I want to recognize some of the names of those who've donated recently. Uh, Gulshir, Asrullah, Muhammad Ishmael, Mon Munawar Ali, Zabida Sundar, Farida Hussein, Mississauga Muslim Community Center, Sayyid Hussein Ibrahim, Bibi Hamid, Canadian Society of Peace, Yasmin Jamil, Zalina Khan, Rustam, Hafiz, Arib, Gharisan, Akhtar Sheikh, Hinna Siddiq, Tahira Sultan, Khatul bin Zamanuddin, Ahmad Khalil, Bibi Mutilal, Niamuddin, Bafati, Shazira, Shazia Awan, Yusuf Khan, Anisa Ali, Susan Al Wahabi, Imran Durani, Rani Rahman, Vikaruddin Khaja, uh, Yusuf Batista from California, uh, Brother Shahid Asmat, Shams Tajuddin, Sheikh Usman, Muhammad Faridi, uh, Khuram Javed, Basil Fadil, Bibi Halima, uh, Maha Salim, Begum Nusrat Akbar, Harpreet Singh, Zakran Ali, Mahabuba Fazli, Miraj Ahmed, Nazim Muhammad, Raksan. Nazim, Muhammad Swadi, Javid Butt, Muhammad Siddiq, Farheen Khan, among those that have donated to the Islamic Forum recently. Uh, we want to thank all of them. I also want to uh, thank Sister Bashir Chowdhury for her donation to the Islamic Forum. And we hope you can donate something today. Sponsor one block for $100 and then join a monthly pledge for uh, to donate $100 every month to the Islamic Forum. I also want to request you to make special dua for uh, Turkey and the Muslims there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims and protect them wherever they are. Until we meet again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.